R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Find out what it means to me. Hey guys, welcome to the Monk Pooh Review. And this time we review Respect. It's, this is the new biopic directed by Liesl with Tommy. I don't know his director. No, no director. No much about the director. And this is a, this is a biopic about Aretha, one of my, Aretha Franklin. Who I both everybody loves. You no know, Aretha Franklin. Yes, Aretha Franklin, a queen of soul. Queen of soul. You know. And this has. <laughs> This is this has uh, Jennifer Hudson, Forrest Whitaker, Titus, Marlon Wayans, and Titus Bur Burgess, and some other actors. And and I was, when I first saw the trailer movie, I was I was waiting for who would come out. It was for a long time. It was it was supposed to come out last last year, you know, because but the pandemic it then it got pushed pushed back. Keep keeping rescheduled, rescheduled, and it finally came out. Came out, and I was really, I was really pumped by to see this movie. And I was excited this week for this movie because it's one of my favorite singers, one of the sing, one of the famous, one of the, the world's famous female workers of all time, Rita Franklin. And. and and then this movie was really, really good. I like this story, story about about Rita Franklin's life and her parents and her father and her first marriage and all that. Uh, I can hardly, I can highly recommend, recommend, recommend the movie if you haven't seen it. I can definitely, by, by Rita Franklin going to childhood, teenagehood, how she was. I used to, as a, as early childhood, I can't, I can't start on the dad's church. Her father played by four. Played by, played by, uh, Porch Wicker, who, who, who's a very good actor, except for, well, except for, except for, except for uh, fell off of her. How, how you, unless it has, how tragedy struck, struck how her mother left, maybe left her father. But that's why I heard she was I heard her father CL, CL Franklin was basically abusing her. I heard she was abusing her mother and and basically how, how she mother died when she was very young and all that. And then then we gears go on. She's not played by Jennifer Huston, who get, who's a very good actress. She's been a dream girl and he was and also a very very he sang very good too. He's a very good singer. I love, I love her voice. I, I have nothing against. I, I think she 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 could she should have won a very good idol. I like I like Fantasia. It's much as I like Fantasia. Nothing against and two. I think I think sounds fan. I wish she would we would release more albums because you were good. And and I heard rumors that it uh that Richard Frank before she passed before she passed before she died before she passed away after the player hair in the biopic and she. And she nailed it too. She did. She did a very good job, Jim Hudson playing playing the role, Jim Hudson. Like, and then we then we see, see her now as, as now as an adult. Now now she went. All these uh, he signed all these record companies, and now, then she meets then she meets uh meets uh, her first time Ted White Ted White who was, like there, there's a lot of sadness in this movie. That's a lot. The tragedy is happening to Rita Franklin in real life. But based by Marlon Wayne, he was good in the movie, even though he, now Marlon Wayne can be sometimes be funny. Like I like him in the Wayne. He was he funny at times, like the Wayne brothers, uh Little Man, even though a lot of people hate that movie, but I, I it's my guilty pleasure. I like him in uh I guess that's my parent scary movies. He can sometimes he can, he can be a funny guy. Sometimes he just doing Sometimes he he be with some shit like 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 white chicks uh uh what white chicks the hunt house movies built the shades of gray all those, all those garbage movies but when he does this this dramatic movie like uh like Wrecking Room and Dream he he nails it out the park. I'm not I'm not so I'm not gonna join the series Jack Jack dramatic actor. 
with, along the film not coming, he he, he can be pretty good. Like Breaking Moon Dream, like Breaking Moon Dream, he's fantastic in the movie. Like G.I. Joe Rise of Kobe, he, he's off in the movie, but it, but he's really good in Breaking Moon Dream. And also he, and also he, and also in Rub the Rim, you know, with Tupac and Tupac and Dwayne Martin, he he, the thing he's he's fantastic. So. I, so I think Mark Wayne could be good serious that he just he just sometimes he's off comedic that day. But he did But he know this part as his as his thick as his thick okay as his thick character Terry White who who was reached his first reached Frank's first husband. Basically how his how his how CL Frank didn't like him and how he was rolling in life, trying to throw a music career and and in the song Respect I know I know that song Respect was written, was written by him. That's the movie says. I love the music number, like respect, uh ain't no way, uh what, what else? Uh I never loved the man, uh Chang Chang Chang. And this movie's uh I don't know, no, 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 no. uh two hours and twenty five minutes long. Which is right to is right is I think it's glad two hours long. Like, okay, we get to see his backstory of Rick's life. How she how he how she went through as a child, how how tragic! How she was was molested by as a child when he got pregnant. He was uh like fourteen years old. He started in church. I I just wish they were there more, way more more in her life. That's the only thing I I say. The pay, I like this. The performance was good. The pacing was good. The directing, whoever was directed, did did, did a good job directing this movie. Just just I, I get. This, this, is, this is my favorite biotech movie. Not not my favorite, but my favorite biopic may be uh not not one of my favorite biopic. My favorite biopic is straight out of comp like straight out of Compton, Ray, uh eight my, Well Oh this just this movie's just off this, this movie's was just great. I hope I and I hope uh um, General Hudson gets wins another hopefully gets nominated or win the uh, even at least win the Oscar for this movie because this movie was good. I hope Forrest Whitaker everybody gets not everybody who plays this movie gets to get nominated for uh, for for Academy Award even director director everybody and that was my and that was my review for movie respect and if you like this movie give it th thumbs up and remember. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Uh, I'm, uh, so I'm, I'm gonna give this movie five out of five stars. This movie is just, just great. It's great. And that, and that was my review movie. Uh, respect. If you like the movie, give the movie a thumbs up and, and, get, and tell me what's your favorite biopic about a singer. Mine is. Well, this one is cold, but mine is definitely Ray or or Tina Turner. That what's the name with Angela, Angela Bassett with? What's what's love like a do do did all that's close, but Ray's my favorite with Jamie Foxx in it. And, and, and remember, love the guy, guys love peace you too.